Welcome back. Um, out in Sparrows today. Uh, it's been quite a while since I've been out for a walk. Well, I've been just walking, I suppose, uh, around the local roads around home, but um, first time in quite a while since I've been up in the hills. In fact, it's the first time since I was up on uh, Barnes Gap. Oh, Jesus, must be six or seven weeks ago now. Um, well, part of the reason for that was because I was away on holidays in Lake Yarda. So I uh, did take some footage and I was away. So hopefully I'll be able to get something out of that, um, edit it up and stick it up on the channel and uh, make everybody jealous of how great Lake Yard is and how wonderful Italy is. But anyway, I'm back in uh, central or western, ah, uh, central Ulster today in the depths of County Tyrone and way up in the Sparren Hills. Um, there's two hills, well, let's we'll see, two hills on the agenda today. I'm um, on my way to the first one at the moment. It's a uh, small enough hill called Craig Namadi. Can't remember the height of it. I think it's in around about 350 meters. But I'll, I'll stick the height up on the screen here. And the second one is really hard to pronounce. Mullagbolig or Mullabolig probably. Um, but I'm not sure if I'm going to have enough time or possibly enough legs to get to that one um, this afternoon. Both of them started, well you can climb both hills separately because the uh, loop that I'm doing is a figure eight loop. Um, Rob did off, a guy on mountainviews.ie. Great website, great resource if you haven't been on it before. Um, the second hill Mulla, Mulla Bullig, <laughs> now I'm gonna struggle with that all day. Uh, Mulla Bullig has already got a route for it so it's quite short and I'm gonna follow that. Uh, this one didn't have a route but had very good directions and uh, grid reference coordinates for all the different points along the walk. So um, I'm doing this one first. Uh, it's the longest of the two, possibly the most challenging of the two in terms of navigation anyway, um, but also the, dis um, the terrain, so probably a wee bit rougher. So I'm gonna do that one first. And then what that does is that brings me back down to the road in between the two, which is known locally as Barnes Gap beautiful spot so hopefully I'll get some footage of that for you as well and um, if the legs and the time allow I'm gonna go on ahead and do Mullabolic if not I'll just head back to the car park um, if you are ever considering coming here there's a fantastic car parking spot um, it's been it's on the International Appalachian Trail so it's got a bit of funding and um, to do it up it's got proper toilets got a water tap um, and there's some benches and a covered area for you to sit in and eat if you've got a group or if you're just on your own but it's a great spot great great facility for practically being in the middle of nowhere so yeah well done to the council and whoever um set up that facility it's great anyway it's uh it's actually 10 to 1. i've only been on the trail about 35 40 minutes um it's quite late getting started today this was a bit of a, well it wasn't really a last minute decision but I didn't do any prep for it at all. So I ended up having to plot the route, upload the GPS, pack my bag, blah blah blah, do all that this morning. Um, so that, that delayed me getting away. And then it's about a 45 minute drive to the starting location. Um, just when I was pulling into the car park there was a, a nice Dutch couple just leaving. A little bit older than myself but not by much. Uh, on holidays here for three weeks and uh, I walked part of the route with them because by the time I come up to the top of the first hill they were at a junction and they were a wee bit lost, they were kind of stuck where to go so uh, their route was following mine, so uh, well for the first part anyway so I took them along with me and hopefully set them on the right trail if you see anything in the news later on about uh, a Dutch couple missing in Northern Ireland then uh, <laughs> I'll give you a good description so <laughs> hopefully it doesn't come to that so anyway, listen I'm going to stop the other don't have the breath to talk and walk, unfortunately. And uh, thanks again for joining me today. And I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Talk to you soon.
Well, made it to the uh, summit of Craig Namati. Um, just over there behind me um, is the higher Sperrins. And um, up here on top of Craig Namati itself, it's uh, that's pretty desolate. Well, not desolate. It's just uh, flat and very much the same. Just give a wee spin around here so you can see what's behind me. I'll also do a 360 for you as well. Um, that's the way I came there, just behind me following the fence line. Um, over there, hidden in the mist, is uh, Mullet Cairn, just up, um, uh, above Gorson Glen's Forest Park. And over in front of me, I can see uh, what I think is Sowell and Dart. Um, can't remember which one now. I think Sowell is the highest point in both Derry and Tyrone. Uh, right in the middle of the Sperns. Um, 6.4 kilometers to get to here. It wasn't too bad a walk. Um, very easy, very easy navigation um, most of the way, which surprised me. Um, I thought it was going to be a bit more difficult, but there was a good bit of track most of the way. And then um, once you leave the track in, you're, you're simply following a fence line. Um, starting to rain a wee bit again now. Um, I had got reasonably heavy shower about uh, half a kilometer from here. Um, but to be honest, I didn't even bother stopping to put on a coat. It's quite warm today, and though there's a wee bit of a breeze, it's a warm breeze, so uh, no chance of getting too much wind chill or getting cold. I probably would have been soaked inside a coat anyway and just really couldn't be arsed taking it out of my bag. So that's Craig Namadi done. Um, the next part of the track, according to mountainviews.ie, is a matter of following, uh, following this fence line now um, all the way back down into Barnes Gap again. Um, I need to stop at some stage and get my lunch as well um, but I want to get off the hill here because it looks like there's going to be more showers and uh, I want somewhere a wee bit, a wee bit sheltered at least it's, um, it's one thing walking wet but it's another thing sitting around whenever you're wet uh, not, not too pleasant so uh, legs are holding up so far so good and uh, knees a wee bit sore but that's because I haven't been out walking on heavy ground for a long time so all being well, I'll get back to the uh, the van or get back to Barnes Gap. It's two o'clock now. Should be back there before three, I would have thought, which gives me a few hours then to uh, climb up Mulla Bullock. <laughs> I'm going to struggle all day with that. But anyway, uh, this has been nice so far. We have a better day than I expected, despite the rain, but even the rain, I don't mind. Um, so anyway, onwards and upwards. Well, onwards and downwards, I should say. Chat to you soon. So, 
managed to find this wee sheltered hollow. Um, I'd have put the coat on. Well, I put the coat on, I didn't actually need it in the end up, but the weather looked like it was really drawn in. And uh, I thought I may as well just stop the once and put the coat on and be done with it. Um, need to change the batteries in the GoPro anyway, so made the two things do together. But uh, typical ho hawk and fashion, the mounts put the coat on, clouds go away. But listen, shouldn't complain about the clouds going away anyway. So I'm going to take this opportunity. I found, I spotted this on the way up. Um, it's a um, collection of rocks sitting just on the other side of the fence that I was walking along. Um, from over there, it definitely didn't look like it was just a natural rock formation. Um, it is just behind a small outcrop, and so I suppose it's feasible that weathering and erosion over the years has just caused these rocks to fall down. But uh, it definitely gives off an air of some kind of ancient tomb or marker stone or something like that, and along those lines. So in 2022, I know what it is, is a good spot for me to stop and have my lunch. It's sheltered here out of the little breeze. There's not much of a breeze anyway, but I'm sheltered out of the breeze. I'm going to get this coat off, uh, get the uh, gas canister on and uh, heat up some water for a cup of tea and a sandwich. Um, I'm probably... No, I'm not going to say it. I was going to say I'm probably not going to do the other hill, but I'm not going to say that. Um, I'll decide when I get back to the road. And we'll see how the legs is feeling then at that stage. And anyway, I'm going to get on my lunch here.
So Craig Nomad is completed. Uh, that big lump of a hill there is where I've just come down. And uh, I thought it was flying down there at the very bottom, just below the road. Nice bit of flat grass and a wee low fence to cross. Well, I was wrong. <laughs> There's uh, a hidden stream in the middle of that grass and uh, scared the absolute life out of me. Went right in up, well, up to the family jewels, just let's put it like that. Uh, so I'm absolutely soaked from the mid thigh down and my boots are full of water now, but listen, <laughs> it was wet anyway. The uh, the grass and the heather is quite high up there and it was soaked from uh, the recent showers earlier on. And uh, my boots aren't waterproof boots, so my feet have been wet for the last few hours anyway. But anyway, that that's Craig Nomadi done. I've uh, just over 10 kilometers done as well. And I'm um, feeling actually quite good. The Mullah Bullig <laughs> route, it starts just up here as well. So that's another, four four and a half kilometers might even be five i'm not sure just uh, it depends how much i can stick to the route um it's pretty steep looking but i think i have the legs for it it's uh just after four o'clock now and i've got all evening i've nothing more to do so uh, i think i'm going to go head on and tackle it anyway the first bit of it's along a track so it should be fairly easy and uh, give my, my legs a chance to recover um i'll probably just finish this video here and uh, say thank you for coming along with me. I hope you enjoyed the walk up in Craig Nomadi. And uh, I'll show you Muller Bullock in the next video. So once again, thanks for coming along and see you next time. Cheers. <laughs>